Born during the reign of King Aegon V, Sir Alistair of House Thorne was a Knight of the Crown Lands. House Thorne remained loyal to the Targaryens during Robert's Rebellion and served in the capital during the sack of King's Landing by Tywin Lannister on behalf of the Baratheon forces. Sir Alistair was arrested along with Sir Jeremy Riker, a fellow Loyalist Knight, and they chose to take the Black and join the Night's Watch rather than face execution. Sir Alistair was an utterly humorless man, a good fighter and loyal, but also mean-spirited and bitter at the world. He was made a ranger at the wall and rose to the position of Master at Arms in Castle Black, tasked with training new recruits. When Jon Snow first arrived at the wall, Sir Alistair targeted him with mockery and insults, giving him the name Lord Snow and often provoking Jon to anger. After the arrest of Eddard Stark and a hostile confrontation with Jon, Lord Commander Mormont sent Sir Alistair to King's Landing to ask the Crown for reinforcements. Sir Andrew Tarth becomes the new Master at Arms, while Alistair travels south and successfully convinces Hand of the King Tyrion Lannister to recruit men for the wall. When he returns north, Alistair is named Master at Arms at Eastwatch by the Sea. As Mance Raider's wildling army marched towards the wall, Sir Alistair returned to Castle Black and became an ally of Jano Slint. After the death of J.R. Mormont, Sir Alistair is put up as a possible candidate to be the new Lord Commander. He receives sixth place on the first day, and after the second day of voting, withdrew his name to support Jano Slint. Yet thanks to the backroom dealings of Samuel Tarly, Jon Snow wins the election as a compromise candidate. As the new Lord Commander, Jon orders Janos to the ruined castle of Greyguard, with instructions to repair it and and man the fortress. But Janos refuses the order, leading to his execution. Sir Alistair, having lost his greatest ally, is ordered to go with veteran ranger Dywin as part of a three-group ranging beyond the wall. Although Sir Alistair is angered by the decision, he obeys, not wanting to give Jon an excuse to execute him. Sir Alistair was last seen marching north of the wall.